We all want to make coins in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a feature that helps me track my stuff on Fitbin. Fitbin's already a big website, a big feature that we all use for trading. I'm sure when you're checking SBC solutions or if you're just checking the market general prices, I'm sure you guys have the website. You regularly use the website. Maybe you even have the phone on your app. But in this video, we are going to be discussing a desktop feature, as you can see here. And this is going to be helping you track the market. It's a little bit of an advantage feature it might look a bit intimidating but by the end of this video you're fully going to understand it and essentially the main thing that you can see here you're going to be adding your players so you're going to be logging pretty much the trades that you've been making and it'll allow you to see when's the best time to sell if you are making profit how much profit you'd be making per card etc so as we can see here these were some purchases I made and I've now sold them on because I did actually have them in my Fitbin track. If we take a look here, if we scroll down, these are actually in order. So most recently I sold these Virgil van Dykes. I bought four of them. I did buy them at around 230,000 coins. That's the average buy price. It When you hover over anything, it is going to annotate. It's going to give you a description of what exactly it is. So that should be straight away making it a lot easier for you then you also have the average sell price and you can see here in total from those four cards buying and selling all of them in total i made 18,600 coins that was 4.7k per card and that is realized profit that is including all of the tax that EA did take. EA took 49,000 coins profit in that, around 50k, but this is 20,000 coins pure profit after tax calculated that I did make. You can see for Goretzka and also for the Varans and for also Lorente. Lorente, maybe I didn't have in here, but Varans, you can see I had two of them. I made 17k in total, 8k per card, and these were these two Varans that I did sell. So basically, what you're going to be doing when you're going to be buying a card, I've made these new buys. I'm going to be showing you now how you can log this in and then pretty much how you're going to be tracking what it's going to be telling you the information and also another feature where you can just check general buys before you're going to be buying a card you can see whether they are up or down so just before we get into that a little word from our sponsor gamers class who are sponsoring this video they have partnered up with elite you might know him he is a great trader established in the fifa community and they've done an exclusive course on the web app and they are still updating it with brand new stuff as you can see in this lesson here they're going to be talking about lazy buys release of the fifa standard edition different fluctuations and the reason i am recommending this course because if you guys are interested you want a little bit more perhaps you're not too interested in a patreon but you actually want to learn this one time you're going to have access to it i believe for a lifetime whilst you have the gamers class monthly membership and you can come back and use these same methods next year the year after that and you can pretty much learn to trade for yourself to avoid any mass market panic any anything like that by loads of Patreons creating that loads too many people get access to that but this is going to be just a limited access if there's going to be particular sniping filters other things like that not a lot of people are going to be seeing this so i'd recommend this gamers class if you are looking to pay a little bit more learn more about the web app elite is quite a good trader so definitely go down in the description below make sure you use that link if you are going to be checking it out now let's get straight back to this video so we do have our cards right here so we're going to be logging in for example i reckon we can go ahead and do these felipe anderson so I bought three of these Felipe Andersons during Division Rivals. There was a little bit of supply around 9 a.m. UK time. I was sniping, in fact, on my companion app because I was at school. But now, of course, we are here. We are at home. So we can list these up on the Fitbin tracker. I'll put an average price of 52k on all of these three. So if we go ahead and take a look now here on the Fitbin tracker, this is what the Fitbin tracker is looking like. Once you are here, you just click on add a player and we're going to be typing in Felipe Anderson. And it's going to allow you to choose the exact version that you do have because Fitbin have all of the players, of course. So the inform Felipe Anderson, he's currently 58K. The current price, you don't have to worry about too much, but once you add them in straight away, it is going to be giving you how much they are actually, how much profit you are going to be making. So I, I've got three of them. The quantity is three. If you just got one, then just put in one, of course, and bought for the average. So what price you bought him at? You can put a comment as well. Maybe Div Rivals Supply. And I'm actually planning to sell him, or I can instead say sell in maybe in like five hours, something like that. A little note for me or the exact time you could maybe write down a comment, but that's not necessary. Usually I don't put comments on it. 
Now we can see here, I bought for 52,000 coins each, a total of 150K of all of those three. And currently I'm making 3K profit per card if I was to sell right now. So I think what I'm going to be doing is keeping it here for a little bit longer. But the great thing about this is you can actually go, go back and come back and check. For example, in two hours time, I remember this is at 9K, 9,300 coins. If I refresh this in an hour or so, it is either going to be going up or going down. So you can easily tell whether you are happy with that profit or if it is going to be, of course, a negative as well, it will actually come up red. So that is a very, very useful thing. So you can add other cards as well. So for example, if we add one more card, just to make sure that we know exactly how we're doing. I also bought two Jesus Navas, one at 52K and another one at 52K. So let's go ahead and add those in as well. If we type in Jesus Navas, pretty much the exact same price, 52,000 coins. Now he's already increased. This is quite good, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit more. I might just wait an hour or two more, but buying at Division Rivals is actually a very, very good time. So you guys can learn from this as well. Next Thursday, maybe this is something you want to be doing. So also what you can take a look at here, you've got a tab for the top movers. This can definitely be quite overwhelming, but essentially you've got in the, 20, in the last 24 hours, what has been happening to the market. So we can see here this Diaz card, he has had supply now because he was out of packs this gold card but now he is back in packs because the inform team of the week one has gone out of packs that's why Mo Salah I'm pretty sure if, if we go here by the four hours comparison Mo Salah I'm pretty sure will be somewhere here as well because gold Mo Salah has now been in packs so that card has gone down a lot so you can see four hour comparison these cards have been going up so Zakaria the, the in the last few hours because of division rivals a lot of people were selling him but now he is going up quite steadily so he is up 40 percent it actually shows here 40 percent it might be cut off a little bit by my webcam but Zakaria Osman Felipe Anderson, which we bought, which is good to see that he's going up. But another tab you can have is the favorites tab. Now, this is where you can add a load of your own cards. So for example, if I'm tracking, if I'm interesting, interested in a different card. So if we just put in Mbappe, something like that, Kylian Mbappe, as an example, if I'm interested in buying him, it could be a good idea to put him here. I've just got a load of gold meta cards and I've just been tracking them. So when they go down, for example, this Usman Dembele, he's down 4%. So I would recommend use the favorites tab. Definitely this portfolio can be extremely good. What realized profit means, realized profit is all of the past cards. So once I sell this, I can actually put in a, a sell as well, just to show you guys how it works. If I sell both of these Jesus Navas, let's say at 60,000 coins, it doesn't have to be for the price that he's currently at. But if I sell him at 60,000 coins, that is now going to change to realized profit. I think you guys will understand how that works because unrealized is basically you you just haven't sold it yet. You don't have those profits, but once they once you sell them, then it does become realized profits. Let me know down in the comments below if there's anything else you guys need help with, and I will definitely be replying to you guys down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.